Well, I'd like to give my thoughts on Sony's E3 conference. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing an Xbox one just because I'm not really into the Xbox right now. I may get a system eventually, but I don't have the money right now, and all the stuff that so Xbox was pulling or while they were kind of turning me off. But I do plan to eventually get it if games are good. And so far, there's been some good games, so I may. But I should give my thoughts on Sony for now, but it looks, it was pretty decent. There's a few things I'm kind of iffy about, like I liked the opening orchestra, but it seemed kind of out of place in the conference. Even if it does sort of lead into Kratos, God of War, Norse, or whatever you're going to call it. But it was still interesting. God of War looks exciting, and I've never played the games, so I don't know anything about the story beyond its revenge. I do have, for the PS3, the first two games together, but I've never gotten around to playing it much. So I guess I probably should at some point. But it looks good. Interesting interaction. So I'll... Maybe get this one, especially if it's a reboot or a sequel or whatever. But I'll definitely check it out. Days Gone looks great, also. The, the trailer was interesting, leaves you wondering. And then they go and explain a bunch of this stuff in the live demo at the end, which is also exciting and interesting. Wondering what's going on with the whole thing with the zombies. We're seeing more of a World War Z or 28 Days Later, I think it is, sort of super fast. Zombies, like these things just keep coming and coming and <laughs> there's no stopping them. So I'm curious where the gameplay is going to be like. Last of the Guardian was exciting. This is a game that's been waiting since before PS3, I think, was actually originally going to be on the PlayStation 2 because it was, I remember it being mentioned shortly after Shadow Colossus. So it's <laughs> finally coming, though I'm a little curious about the contrast between how the Guardians or whatever those things look versus the kid. The kids so completely more animated, whereas these things look slightly more realistic. So I'm curious if that's explained about the contrast. Also, we get a really decent demo of Zero Dawn. And it's not just a rehash of the first one. We get a little bit more story explanation. A new mystery about these corrupted things. That demon, which is definitely very less animal-like and more like traditional robot. So something's going on here. Then we got Detroit Become Human. Which is really exciting. I've loved Until Dawn and Heavy Rain. Despite some of their problems. And their branching paths not being completely 100% perfect. But I like both of them. And this definitely looks to be taking the branching path in many directions. As the demo showed. There was like 20, 30 different ways the, end, the thing could end. And how you could go through it. So... I look forward to seeing more of that. Risen Evil looks nice, and I will be playing the demo and giving my thoughts on that sometime tomorrow. So that should be interesting. I really think that'll be exciting to see and how that goes. I'm not sure about the VR titles. VR is exciting and interesting, and I look forward to it, but we've seen this happen time and time again with peripherals where they get ignored. It's the same reason I have concern about the Neo. I hope it will be great, but I am probably not going to purchase it, by the way, if it's not needed for all games. It's probably one of those things where I'm going to wait till games that require it to come out or when my PlayStation 4 dies and they have to upgrade anyway, might as well do it. But for now, there's no huge rush. Spider-Man was exciting. I can't wait to see that. Hopefully it'll be more like the original. Some of the best ga uh, Spider-Man games. Spider-Man 2 for PlayStation 2 based upon the original trilogy. Then Amazing Spider-Man 1, despite some flaws, was still entertaining and enjoyable, though the sequel was pretty bad. Hopefully we'll get some events for supervillains and such. As for the VR games, Farpoint looked good. We didn't see much. My first thought was, I actually thought maybe it was going to be Andromeda, but it still looks c cool. Not sure about Battlefront, because Battlefront has issues, and I'm not getting into that until I see how it plays out. Though having played Overwatch, that makes me a little more interested in multiplayer games, so I'll see. Final Fantasy 15, well, it looks kind of just gimmicky, like, I'm not sure it's going to play into it well. It says you seem to jump between first person and not, and I'm not sure if that's going to work effectively. Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare, both of those look good, but they're Call of Duty. 
and Call of Duty isn't really good for the single player, but we'll have to see, as I'm more of a single player type person than a multiplayer. Death Standing, I'm incredibly curious about, especially with the actor who plays Daryl and the Walking Dead in it. Good to see get him get something after PT demo got cancelled, so we'll have to see that. It is Hideo Kojima, so it's going to be pretentious as fuck, but whatever. <laughs> That's just him. So, overall, I think this was a really good conference. Is it would like to have seen more? Sure, I'd like to see the new console explained, but maybe they're working on upgrading it, so I'll just have to see. So, let me know down below what your thoughts are. If I missed anything you want to hear my thoughts on, or just want to discuss, comment. Let me know, please.